Hand clap to the master guys, we are finally back again for another reaction on the one and only Miss Delix reaction guys Big up all the Miss Delix YouTube family man Guys give this video a thumbs up right now if you are Miss Delix family Give this video a thumbs up, click the thumbs up button right now guys And of course don't come out there, big up yourself as well For definitely tuning in to another reaction video The Miss Delix family, big up 100 at home and big, up, big up yourself one time right there guys Don't forget of course if you're new to this channel don't forget to download uh, the Mr. Lix YouTube app and of course definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get the videos as they tend to come through right there and then let's get into it right now guys of course this is pretty much uh, uh, based off today early in the morning around 2 a.m. Uh, the system right now is actually um, it looks like it's very small it's not really big according to the, the size of stuff that we, we see regularly guys it moved from 10 to 20 and now it's like about 30 30 30 something it's about something like that <laughs> we'll get to see that information in a while but of course guys it's moving at 30 miles per hour and seems to be moving in this direction right there so it might just pass just on the dominica right there it seems to be moving in this direction but of course let's take a listen to what is a, a reader of what they're seeing right there stop moving so fast man come on all right then guys you can read this thing right there tropical wave located a few hundred miles east of the windward islands right there to be going training and have increased this morning Huh? I guess increased rainfall or something this morning, but there are not yet any signs of significant organization. Um, even right now, Dominica, I think, is experiencing some, some little rain conditions right there. The wave is forecasted to move westward at about 15 miles per hour. And of course, some show, uh, slow development is possible. Well, it has been developing for a little while, but developing very, very slowly. It's, it's stated that it'll be coming into the Caribbean as a tropical uh, wave uh, just probably like how they said for Hurricane Maria who knows but of course they are pointing somewhere along the region of Trinidad to Guadeloupe around Barbados around that region right there let's take a bigger look, um, look at this this is the, the the trajectory path of this thing right there guys so it might tip this is Guadeloupe this is Dominica it might tip the bottom of Dominica, of course, uh, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And of course, the top of Trinidad and Tobago right there. That's the path that it seems to be going. There's another one a little bit, bit outside. This one will not affect us. It seems like it's going to be going up. Where am I going up? It's going up to the city where we'll God have a mansion for. I don't know. Let me leave that one. Anyways, guys, the reason why for this video is, of course, Lennox Linton. I studied yesterday. I was going to be reacting to this. Um, by the way guys, I must make mention to you guys, this is a reaction channel, so I have to be stopping from time to time In case it's called reacting to something that has been said REACTION! <laughs> Let's get it right there guys! <laughs> My nature Island brothers and sisters Thanks for your love, your support Thanks for your performance feedback on this journey for the goodness of God and country you're welcome. First of all, you guys, I don't know, you guys might need to fix the mic because there's, I know there's a little feedback in the mic and stuff, but yeah, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Reacting, guys. <laughs> My resignation from hmm. the post of political leader of the United Workers Party emerges from the national yearning for change hmm. that is a must. For real change that people, especially the youth, can believe in. I stepped up to the responsibility of political leadership in response to the need for change. I served in the responsibility of political leadership on the agenda for change. Hmm. And I have stepped down from the responsibility of political leadership in the embrace of change. So I'm guessing what you started with for change, you're also seeing that at, at the end of leadership in itself, you're seeking the very change or, or for the need for change, so, yeah. It was never till death do a spot. It was always do the best with all your heart. Change for the better. Change for the good we are committed to do. Change for the future. Hmm. As we continuously improve, change is the only constant. Are we really improving though? I don't think we're improving at all. We're changing for sure, but I don't think the change is positive in Dominica. But of course, this is, this is not in reference to Lennox, but when it comes down to Dominica, 
I don't think we are changing for the better at all. You guys could let me know if you disagree with me. As we honor our human dignity, as we celebrate our God-given freedom to be who we want to be, as we strive to thrive, endeavor to prosper, as we rejoice in the desire to enjoy all pleasures, worldly and divine, as we earn our own money, accumulate wealth, as we live for each other, as we stand together against any obstruction to the advancement of our humanity. Is Dominica standing against any obstruction to its own humanity? Are the people doing this? Are, are we really doing this or are we just bowing down to the system that is keeping us down? Which, which one are we doing? Change is the primary driver of the balance and harmony required for the sustainability of these engagements True. in the human experience. Political parties and uh, the leadership of political parties sincerely committed to improving the quality of life for all must periodically rethink policies, renew systems, adapt, and rebuild organizational structures to remain relevant and fit for purpose. True. All political parties want better people's skills, improved thought leadership, new ideas, new aces, new faces, fresh legs for the races. Hmm. All political parties value experience in leadership, maturity, stability in leadership. All political parties have their challenges with infighting and leadership succession. The United Workers Party is no exception. The Dominican Labour Party is no exception. But they don't seem to be doing that now. <laughs> I'm thinking to my mind, only, only while he's talking there, I'm like, yeah, you say all political parties, but that doesn't reflect on the Dominican Labour Party at all now. Even today, I was talking to an individual and talking about that they change, they literally changed people who won their seats in the last election to bring, to bring new people in. Not in the betterment of them, you know, but for these people to be loyal to them, to, to, to him. <laughs> Yo. Indeed. The but that is, I guess that can be considered as a change. Anyways, let's continue. Indeed, the Dominican Labour Party survived and moved on wonderfully well on the political front. From the internal campaign of vilification, bribery, backstabbing, treating, and treachery <laughs> that drove then leader Pierre Charles to his grave more oh. than 18 years ago. I heard that it was them that, that wanted him gone. Because Rosie passed away and then a few months later, Pierre Charles passed away. They were giving them pressure. Let me know even go into that before they come for me. <laughs> In democracies, where people enjoy the inalienable right to decide who they want to be, while at the same time dictating who others should be, hmm. no political party has any monopoly. Should these be. destructive behaviors within the party that hurt leadership efforts and injure the party's image as an honest agent of change. Still, a house divided onto itself Can't cannot stand. stand. And it is in the balance between democratic freedoms and the discipline for collective leadership responsibility that eludes us from time to time. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> what? A house divided onto itself cannot, cannot stand. stand. Uh -huh. And it is in the balance between democratic freedoms and the discipline for collective leadership responsibility that eludes us from time to time. Hmm. <laughs> Nine years at the helm, trying to usher in the benefits of change, to secure the best Dominica for all Dominicans has not been an easy road. Not some. And the very boy, let me continue. Dominica is hurting. Joblessness. Worsening poverty, Point. spiraling dependency, and relentless attacks on the freedom of the human spirit. Of their own freedom. Man fighting, they're fighting Lennox for their own, they're fighting Len against Lennox that tried to help them free themselves. Like Harriet Tubman said, I freed hundreds of slaves and could have freed thousands more if only these people knew that they were slaves, man. 
Maybe they don't think that they're slaves at all. Maybe they don't think the economy is going to affect them. Maybe when the government takes over them, like they think they don't going to pay, pay any electricity anymore. But who are we to say? Who are we now? <laughs> are destroying the, la the right to lives that matter. And independence too? A people deprived by their government of the means to meet their needs are imprisoned behind the bars of those unmet needs. But the government has decided to meet their needs for them. And therefore, as a result of that, they have to be loyal to the government or the government will take it away. The playing field on which you compete for the seat of government has been compromised beyond recognition. Oh, yes. And we have been struggling to secure the foundation of free and fair elections with integrity hmm. as the backbone of our democracy. And yes, there has been the infighting, the vilification from within, the backstabbing and the treachery. Reminds me of Joshua. <laughs> but I'm alive. They better not make Joshua come and, and, and boy you mad. <laughs> I survived to stand aside, to continue to serve, committed to secure a course correction so that the leadership of the party going forward is protected from similar impediments to ensuring that Dominica is on the ballot. So he's not going anywhere. He's just making sure that corruption doesn't happen within the party if somebody else new comes in. So that, that's from my understanding what I'm, what I'm getting from him. And not the parties and interests we defined, we defined in mindless prejudice of colors. It is time for change. Hopefully, this resignation presses the leadership reset button on the clear understanding that living for others is a rule of nature. Hmm. And if there's no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. Let this be... Hmm. A that, is, that is a powerful statement right there. And if there's no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. Let hmm. If there's no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. Most times, even in our families, we can then think of this in the whole situation like this. Our families, some of the people who can hurt us the most are the people within. Not the people outside, you know. The people outside can influence the people within to do bad things to you. But the people within also have to say, okay, no, we're not going to let this affect us. That is their business. But no, it seems like the people outside are affecting the people inside and putting all kind of foolishness in their head. It's interesting. Let this be a moment of new energy, enthusiasm, and commitment to the movement for change that is to be. The change that begins between you One. and me. <laughs> I figured that. Yeah, that's where change should start. With us. Especially if you want to see a change in Dominica. We have to change our dirty ways. It's us that have to change, you know, guys. We have to change our dirty ways. In all of us, for each of us. And in each of us, for all of us. You a poet, man. <laughs> change that begins between you and me. For each of us. In all of us. For each of us, each of us, for all of us, and in each of us, for all of us, it's called community, unity, that kind of vibe. I'm not just thinking for myself. I'm thinking for, hey, how can we develop as a unit? Because my children will be going through the same system. Your own will also go through the same system. Let us see if we can correct the system. That is the system. It's not you against me. Because we stay in the same system. I want to thank my family for supporting me through this journey. One thing here, yeah, I'm not going to lie, his family was supporting me heavy, yeah? His family was supporting me heavy. I'm heavy. I want to thank the thousands of people, thousands of patriots of Dominique at home and abroad who have been with me in ways that I cannot even care to count right now through this journey. Hmm. I thank you all. I give you the assurance that 
I did not come into this cause for Dominique that needs assistance as political leader of UWP or any other party. I came to serve. Hmm. That is one of the things that I know for sure. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you agree with that. Especially from the information that we have gotten. Especially things that were hidden from the people. Lennox, Linton and of course some of the others were the ones who brought this information out to the public. $1.2 billion missing. That nobody would never have known this. Guys, would you have known this? None of us would have never known this. If it wasn't for Linux. Then it went to 2.3 billion dollars or 2.1, 2.3, I think. Then it went to 4.3 billion dollars missing. Unaccounted for. But okay. Nobody not making no noise. Nothing. Everybody's like, okay, let's see what we can get. But it missing the 4.3 million dollars. When people complain about schools need to fix and all this kind of where the money go. Well, if the money outside, what do you expect? Well, if the money outside, the money not inside now. If the money are inside, or you expect the money to be used when it's outside? And I'm privileged to have been in the position to serve at the level of political leader of the United Workers Party. The United Workers Party needs something different right now. I continue to serve. I'm with you. I share the struggle with you, as I've always done. Before I came into this position, while I was in this position, and now that I'm leaving the position. It seems like some people do feel in the struggle, huh? <laughs> some people don't feel in the struggle. You talk about the struggle there, but some people, I don't, I don't understand it. A struggle does happen for some, not all, it seems. I love you. I thank you. And God bless you all. I think that Lennox did a wonderful job, man. As political leader, I think he did a wonderful job. Uh, I think a number of persons were, were more vexed on, on the understanding, saying that he was not social. But that is based off people not knowing somebody. I think that that is how it should be. Should Lennox have, have resigned? Um, I would say I would leave it to the people to vote, but the people voted him back in. Um, as, of course, he won his seat. He was one of the three individuals who won their seat. And on the back burner, thinking of how things were back then versus now. The one the, 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 on the Lennox, Lennox Linton's leadership was the one who brought the government the most stress that they have ever had in their entire life. The most stress, no doubt about it. But then, as a result, the people should have been with the opposition when certain things were brought out. But the people were not there. The big question here is, who is the next one to be the... Who, who do you think... Will, will be the next leadership. I think uh, Dr. Thompson Fountain would be a good one to come and represent and maybe have Lennox as the vice president, of, what do you call it? vice president, vice prime, whatever that is, the sec <laughs> second one, um, the second one in, in, in charge of this thing. So you, you, you allow for a new mind. New minds is always a good thing, um, but not just getting new minds, you also need minds that actually have a level of morality to it and of course want to work for the people not for themselves uh, and it's not just that the consistency of that is vital because we remember back in the day when scary just came in he was talking about working with the youth the youth is the worst off as ever before man trying to escape they trying for the government to give them a scholarship for them to escape and although that is a good thing to get a scholarship to go overseas and study but the whole gist of going overseas to study is for you to come back to your country to contribute People were looking for scholarship for them to escape. <laughs> they want scholarship for them to escape because they don't want to come back to Dominica. Why do you think that is? Because the government has failed the youth. A person might say, oh, Lennox Linton is getting of age or whatever and whatnot, so let somebody else come in. I think man does gymming and all those kind of things. Eh? He can probably run for another 20 years or something. I don't know, but hey. Um, he decides to resign, maybe as a result of his family. Um, he decides, he, okay, let's see what, what, what's next. Dominica is not going anywhere. But of course, he wants to contribute to Dominica. I think that is a good thing right there. Not just as leader, but he can contribute else, or, or in other ways. So who is the next one that would take charge to say, okay, guys, we need to put brush, pressure on the government? I think Lennox Linton has the skill set of a journalist to then research and find things for the people. 
that normal people would not be able to find. This is one of the things that, or reasons why I think that he, he was in a good position right there. And if he's promising to continue to do that, but not just not only not as leader of, 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 of the party, but I think that would be a good thing as well. But it's, it's, it, I, I, well, I don't know whether it's a, a good thing that he's leaving now or later, or we considering the time frame that he's resigning would then mean that a new person, a new party, party um, leadership that would come in would then need to be well then again they're saying that the person who is the next leadership would need to have to win the seat to have won their seat and it's just three of them so if it's lennox danny lugi and and um spags the person that would be the next leader would have to be since Lennox resigned would have to be Danny Lugie or or, or um, um Spags. Or will they bring in Thompson Fountain as a new one to, to represent well then again uh, Lennox became a party leader um when he was not he didn't win any seats. So it's a possibility that you know Thompson Fountain would most likely I think Thompson Fountain would be the best one out of all of them. I think Thompson Fountain would be the best one out of all of them for him to come and become party leadership. And I think he would have a, a much better fighting chance as a result of people complaining Lennox need to go and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. The Prime Minister has been there for so long. Nobody complaining about Skerritt leaving. He quivering and mash up in the country. You don't think that he's complaining that Skerritt need to go? Yes, he has won whether it be for bribery, treating or whatever reason. He's been there for too long. Oh, the complaint about Lennox, Lennox being there for what, I was, what 20, 13, 9 years? And Skerritt has been there for how long? For, for what, over 15 years? 15, 16, 17, 18 years? 18 years? A little fine, he's there too long? Maybe it's just me. Guys, what are your first friends? Who do you think will become the next political leader? Um, UWP political leader. Will Alex Bruno become the political leader? <laughs> will he become uh, one of the... I know he has his own party and stuff. Or he's trying to form his party. And, 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 and from my understanding, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing that he's trying to do. You know, give more options, more availability of options. Uh, rising within, within the precedence of, of, of things. And, um, but who do you think would be the next political leader? Of the United Workers Party men, and will you be able to trust that individual? If it, if you think it's Doctor Thompson Thompson Fountain, do you think he'll be a good? Let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think he'll be good, or who else do you think would be would be uh, um, good for the party? One person I know that will not be good for the party would be Joshua. <laughs> but let me leave that out right there. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the chat. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Right there. This is pretty much all about for this year reaction video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to understand it. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get more videos as they tend to come through, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.